Hello YouTube, hello InfoBuddies, welcome back to my channel. This is InfoBliss101 and today we're going to fix a certain problem on the OBS Studio that is crashing because of its latest updates. Now there is only one thing that we can do to make it functional once again. But before we start, if you're just new to the channel, please do consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And a little bit of disclaimer that this will not work entirely for all computers, but at least we tried. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's see what we can do and let's start fixing it. All right, guys, now it's about time for us to go to our computer. As you can see here that my computer already has the OBS Studio installed. But even though that it's already installed, it doesn't mean that it's already functioning properly. So watch carefully as I try to open the OBS Studio. And there you go. It suddenly crashes inside my computer. Now, is there a way to fix this? Yes, there is a way to fix it. An easy way, you don't have to go to different types of settings and mix up your computer's function. There is a way. First, you have to go to the device manager. The device manager can be seen on your search window. Just type in device manager and it will pop out. Now, click that. When you're already inside the device manager, look for display adapter. Okay, now we're already here in the display adapter. Click this. Now, when you click it, there's some devices that will pop out below it. Now, these are the different types of the adapters that you must be able to disable. So you right click it and choose disable. So you need to disable each and every one of them for you to make the OBS Studio functioning again. Why do we need to do this? Because there is a system on the OBS Studio that doesn't match the system of your display adapter. So therefore, there's a little bit conflict. So you need to disable it in order for your OBS Studio to function again. So after disabling your display adapter, go back to the OBS Studio and try opening it again. And you will see that the OBS Studio is now back on track. So that's about it, guys. I do hope this tip helped you on solving your OBS Studio crashing. All right, guys, that is the simplest thing we can do about how to solve the problem regarding the OBS Studio crashing. So, all right. Now, if you're just new to the channel, guys, please do consider subscribing for more videos like this one and more. So this is Improvis 101. Make your own perspective, guys. I'll be seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.